one big greasy animal. But she's a gorgeous one at that. It is a gorgeous 50 degree morning in Andover, South Dakota and we're about to get the magic underway. We've got a full tank of water, so we're ready to kick the tires and light the fires. And that's how it all starts. Morning. <laughs> oh, we're just getting fired up today. Uh, we're repacking the steam chest at the moment just to make sure it's nice and secured. So yeah, getting her going. this afternoon we're gonna hook up to that 50 bottom plow and we're gonna make a big swap. <laughs> Today is Friday September 9th. We've got the flywheel reset that vibrates loose once in a while. Yeah everybody's here we're steamed up. 175 pounds on the gauge. After four years we've got most of the little quirks worked out even with all of the design changes that Corey made to improve the gearing and improve the geometry uh, the intermediate gear, there's still just little things that uh, that you tweak on a steam engine. We, we like to refer to them as very similar to a woman. They have many of the same characteristics. You have to take very good care of them. When they tell you something's wrong, either by a little sound or what you see, you better give it attention, and or else things go downhill real fast. That's why we love you so much. Is that right? That is totally right. Whatever he says is right. Andover, South Dakota, home of the James Valley Threshing Show and the 150 horsepower case. Only one in the world, the largest engine in the world. We're gonna pull a half mile down, a half mile back, and we'll probably do it again. Is that a record? That will be a record. The story goes, there's no pictures, but in Leody and Colby, Kansas, during World War I, when all of the farmers were away at war, they pitched in an effort and there was a 50, 150 horse case there that pulled a 50 bottom cock shut plow 24 hours a day. The men worked in eight hour shifts helping plow all the farmers fields while they were away at World War I. So amazing effort. Uh, if it could have been documented on film it would have been absolutely amazing. So we were paying honor and uh, homage to those guys uh, that did what had to be done so we could win the war. to see Cody Cavanaugh jump the 150 case steam traction engine. We are at the Five Bryden Anderson sawmill. So we have both a miniature sawmill here and a full scale sawmill. So we're gonna do a little walk through the mill and explain the whole process of bringing in a, a log and turning it into lumber. This is our full scale sawmill. So we have a 30 case, which is running a line shaft. That line shaft powers a buzz saw, an edger, and then we'll eventually have a planer on this mill as well. And then we have our 25 advanced Rumley Universal steam engine. And that's running the main blade. So our main blade is 50, 52 inch main saw. So we can cut almost a 30 inch log, 28 to 30 inch log. And you can see they've got a pretty big log loaded up on the mill right now. That's about the max size we can handle on this, this mill. So they'll be cutting, cutting slabs off of the log and then they'll come in through the edger and get, and get trimmed, to, trimmed to the right width. Our 25 universal steam engine is, is powering the main the main saw blade. So that's that's connected directly to the, the saw. Our 52 inch blade is just ripping through that big log. Here they're edging boards. So the slabs that come off of the, the big mill, it goes through the edger with, with two blades. And, that, and those two blades are set at six inch. So all it's doing is just trimming the excess, leaving us with a, a, a full two by six board. 
just to the right of the Sawyer, you can see the, the little green Thule steam feed. So that little steam engine is powering a cable drum, and that cable drum then is, is pulling our carriage back and forth. So these logs will get a square corner, and then they'll start cutting um, dimensional size planks, and then ultimately we'll end up with two by six boards that are coming out. How'd it go? Good. We're hooking up a we're hooking up a walking plow, and Dennis is gonna walk behind and push a few bottoms from from the back in case we run into trouble. Well, we have about 20 steam engines that went through the parade, and then there'll be probably another hundred like gas tractors going through, and then 50 cars and old trucks and, and stuff. So there's there's a couple hundred exhibits that go through the parade every day. So it'll last it'll last about an hour. After the parade, we'll do some thrashing. Then after the thrashing, we'll, we'll do the plowing. We do we do this show here in Andover, South Dakota, and, but people are coming in from all over. I've talked to tons of people from Ohio, Pennsylvania, Idaho, Norway. A lot of people, it's their first time seeing the 150. Some of them have, have seen us at different shows before and then came up just to see the, the 50 bottom pull. So it's really cool to see all the people that, that come out here from just all over to really see see one one unique piece of history we're gonna make our first first pass with 50 bottoms and it's pretty hard it's pretty dry it'll be like plowing concrete but we're gonna we're gonna give it all we got and, and serena and we're missing one so. what, are we, what are we doing today we're, we're steaming we're driving steam engines so we're getting dirty we're having fun and we're about to plow Whoopi, what do you think of that bud what do you Hi. think, Wolfie? Gorgeous. <laughs> what are you doing today? We're going to go plow with 50 bottoms. For what? <laughs> September 9th, 2022, Corey Anderson from Andover, South Dakota, breaking the world record and plowing with 50 bottom plow. Let's go plow, boys. I came from the mud. There's dirt on my hand. Strong like a tree. <laughs> How was it? Was it was fabulous. You catch me howling at the moon. I think she's still got a little left in her. We may have another record to break next year. Ooh.